Discover our revolutionary lotion-infused body wash, new dial vitamin boost, and wrap your skin in nourishing softness. For healthy, soft skin, people will notice. Dial. Healthier skin, healthier you. It is time for our Grammy wrap-up show. First, I'd like to thank all of our special guests, Candace, that's heart, Katie, Mike Hauser, David Fish, and of course, Jojo, thank you so much. Thank you. Yay, uh, you guys were all amazing. All right, and let's also welcome back our, <laughs> our wonderful Pop Sugar editors, Britt Stevens and Meg Kuna. Hi guys. Hey guys. Thank you guys. Okay, so Meg, who had the best looks of the night? God, there's so many. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce in the wedding dress. Beyonce in the wedding dress. Your, Beyonce, her on stage, yes, she looked beautiful. Oh my god. And so many people looked really good. I felt like Ciara looked beautiful. Pink. Looks gorgeous, great. right? Who Ciara was in like? Poochie. I really liked Taylor Swift's Gucci dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I thought she looked great. Sarah, of course, with the baby bump. Chrissy Teigen, I thought, looked incredible. She looked I great. loved, uh, I know we were talking about it a little bit before, the, when, I love when girls like slick their hair back. Zendaya. Zen, oh, Zendaya. Yeah. 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 Um, as well, far as guys go. Okay, so Mac we had, Lamar. oh, Macklemore, we yeah. both loved. Great. Kendrick Lamar looked really good. Mm -hmm. He had yeah. a silk tank on, I um, thought he looked cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jared Leto, really he was like totally dressed down, t-shirt, blazer. He was rocking like, the rock star rock look. look. He had like a sweater around his waist at one point. Yes. Um, and what about the robots? Know. Did you think they looked My all time robot <laughs> chic? Definitely. I liked how one had silver and one had gold. I actually thought they were really chic. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, actually, timeless. And, right. the, and the white, and the boots too. The white yeah. suits were great too. Yeah, when they gave the hug. Absolutely right. incredible. Speaking of white suits, what did you guys think of Madonna's outfit change there? She was in Ralph Lauren, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I she liked amazing. the black Look on a red carpet. I thought this was a little cowboyish. I loved this. I okay. thought this was great. Okay. Well, if you had to pick one top man and one top woman, best dress for man and woman. You go first. No pressure. Right. Macklemore, for sure. Macklemore yeah. or Ryan Lewis? Macklemore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I said Macklemore. Well, Ryan Lewis too, but I... What, as a duo. As a duo. Okay. Um, best dress girl. I don't know. My favorite was Madonna. Really? Yes. In the black or the white? <laughs> In mm. both. I liked when she got all immaculate for the stage and came on, you know, with this ruffle. Was bridal. On there. I mean, she's... I thought she looked really great. Is it because she's Madonna or because yeah. you love her? Yeah. Just because she's I'm sitting in Madonna. I, mean, I love this was the look. Pretty great, though. I think it's really I love fantastic. that too. Her Michael Jackson glove. I mean, yeah. she also had a grill. She also had a grill. Britt, who do you choose? <laughs> um, so I think my guy would also be Macklemore. I thought he looked really sharp. I loved his tie. I loved that he, you know, wore color and still kind of kept it thrift shop yeah. fresh a little bit. Totally. And then I think my girl would actually be Chrissy Teigen. She was wearing Johanna Johnson and she just looked flawless. Look at her. She looks wow. like a John statue. looks great too. Though. John looks great. I mean, they're gorgeous together. They and make also, beautiful music together. Yeah, right. And <laughs> the Grammys were very, very smart to, while John Legend was performing his song All of Me, which is about Chrissy Teigen, they showed her like the entire time. They had like a spotlight on her reaction and she just looked flawless. Course. I also liked Beyonce's look that we got to see when she was out. On stage or? Well, no, of in, the, in the audience. Yes, and yes. I don't know if you guys caught it. She was holding a goblet at one point. Yes. There was, yes. Like, there was yeah. a wine in that? My, if she we thought it was wine. No, she, she was drinking. Okay, JoJo, who was your favorite? Favorite woman oh. far as how, Beyonce. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My <laughs> goodness. That's, that's the hottest I've ever seen. And she's looked beautiful over the years, but that's the hottest Are I've ever seen. Are you talking ever. on stage or off stage? On stage, the white dress. Okay, the, the white dress. Just, no. And if there was wine in that cup, if she, oh Jesus, she's crazy with it. But she <laughs> it just, was do say. I mean, she's she, do say. Oh my God, she is confirmed. Yeah. How do you, how do you, yeah, how do you up, how do you uh, just, you know, Jay Z wasn't even on stage when she was on stage, mm -hmm. or at least in my view, because he, she is for any. Anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing, <laughs> So you, you are speechless. Wow. So as far as you're concerned, it was like a solo. Performance. Yeah, without a doubt. Jay Z. Okay, who? and what about the guys who best look, you know, best, took home the award for best dressed in your book? You know what, uh, Jared Leto. But he looks nice. he, he, he looks sharp. You know, in the hair thing, he's doing his thing, and uh, yep. he does he conform without conforming. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, and Miley. I think that's uh, oh, oh. Miley. we missed Miley. That's my two cents. Miley looks good. Who did you guys like? I liked Beyonce, and I liked the robots. <laughs> I liked Lord because she didn't conform to anything. She just did her. Right. And right. I liked uh, 
probably Ryan Lewis, I think. Ooh. Over Mac okay. I love over Macamora. I just love the, the bold statement. Yeah. yeah. Now do you guys are you guys uh, shocked, mad happy that Miley was not nominated? I think it's a, a travesty. I, think I it's, missed you last looked, night. I really you looked did. toe up about that. I <laughs> was toe up. Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm I am very much a fan of every pop diva, so I'm thinking of everyone that was missing. Okay, uh, Gaga, Christina, Brittany, Miley, Demi, oh, Selena, Mariah. Yeah. Do we have like, Justin as a pop diva? Adele. I missed him. Um, everybody was gone. Breaking Ball was a good song, though. I know we got played yes. a thousand times, but that's a good song. And I just, I was, but I thought were, it was going to be I mean, there were plenty of songs that have been played a thousand songs that, or Very a thousand times that were still nominated. Okay, you well, know regardless what I mean? of what was on the radio, my queens should have at least come to the show. <laughs> like, right. they could have been in the audience. I was hoping that Miley would at least, like, come show and up. hang out. I feel like Miley will be out and about tonight. We'll see her. Yeah. Okay, sure. so performance wise, we had a lot to pick from. What would you say was the best performance of the night? Are there any flops that they thought we were going to be like huge, you know, talked about things? Hmm. My highlight was Daft Punk. Daft Punk? For That's all. a great performance. Okay. Come on, see you For under. Like, yeah. you can't, I feel like you just can't get any better than that. I think well, Beyonce <laughs> slayed. Yeah, she but did. But of course, everybody Like, I got Beyonce. chills the from the audience? very first during Daft Punk was like the most raucous that they were the whole show. They were cutting to like Steven Tyler was yeah, dancing, everybody Yoko was, jamming. was dancing. Yoko's okay, throwing a peace sign and dancing. What about right. the performance that made everyone cry? Macklemore, Macklemore. same the, love. And yeah. But right. I don't think it was about the performance, it was about what was going on during the but performance. But that is about the song, it's so much of the message. Sure, you know? sure, the, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I saw Keith Urban crying. Keith Urban, Keith Urban was stopping. shedding <laughs> tears. Yeah. 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 And Ryan Lewis's sister was one of the, in one of the couples that got married. Mm -hmm. Right. I wish he would have walked down and said hi to his sister. That would have been kind of cool to see which ones right. were. I yeah. was curious, not that it matters, I suppose, right. but yeah. you know. But we had Queen Latifah, we had Madonna, we had everything happening. Yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. it was a great performance, but I kind of agree. It was, that was, it's not like people were crying about Macklemore's Yeah, it was more about I mean? the message it was more about and the what message. was going on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think a big snub of the night that we didn't really talk about was Ariana, Ariana Grande. Like, where was she? She should have been best new artist. She should have performed. She should have, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You're like, I'm we didn't talk about that. that. She, I think she had a huge impact social media wise, especially. Um, She's wearing Dolce she Gabbana. My queen. Yeah. I mean, she presented, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, uh, she, we saw uh, her. Did, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly, but we but definitely like, saw we her. We saw her on the red carpet. She, per, she I mean, presented. She presented. She was on. I stage. think she should have at least gotten a nomination for something. I don't know. As far as maybe her, next yeah, year. Vocal strength. That girl. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't even think about that. But very good point on her. Okay, so we're I'm talking about the, 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 the queens. Queen. We're talking about the winners here. We know sure, some people who aren't even nominated. <laughs> but I want to know what you guys think. Could we have predicted who took home a Grammy tonight? You what did. A, I did predict. I yeah. thought Daft Punk had a great album. I was jamming. I'm still jamming to it. I didn't play it out, but I don't know. I'm curious what your thoughts are. I think the Macklemore selection, I wanted him to win. I thought, you know, the social impact, like we discussed. I, I, but then again, you never know because the Grammys throw you a curveball mm -hmm. every now and then. Mm -hmm. But I think I was happy Macklemore won. I thought he was going to win. I thought he was going to win the last one, the one right. against Daft Punk, but not in the cards. What about Song of the Year? Lord won that. Yeah, I'm not I shocked. That was that. great. I, yeah, I I'm wasn't not shocked yeah, either. The yeah, awards no. that Lord won, I'm not surprised at all that she won. I think she deserves them. Right. I I was rooting for her and Kendrick Lamar. I was, would have been happy if either of them won. I but then also I kind of like had a feeling that Kendrick wasn't gonna win. <laughs> you said but that. But I was still rooting for him. He yeah, won in the great. sense that his performance his was performance was amazing. great. Right, and I think right. that's gonna get a lot of people to go look him up. Right. So in that sense, I, I think so. he won. Yeah. Okay, and then for record of the year, we had a lot of songs of the summer in there. We had mm -hmm. Get Lucky, Blurred Lines, Royals. Do you guys feel radioactive? Do you feel that it went to the that right one, person? Radioactive. The you wish they yeah, were. that was that was the one for me. Now, do you think? Uh, Robin Thicke would have won without some of the controversy and the I think he would have. I think he would have. I it's think hard it to would separate been, that, I feel. I think they would have gotten crap for giving it to him. I think, like, you know, awarding him when he got so much backlash. Right. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you think I think that, that has that an impact. would have been more controversial? Like, people would have been upset about that? I think people would have. Because I'm surprised. I, I mean, for as much as people loved that song and as much as we heard it, it hasn't won anything. 
Well, I think uh, people Ouch. are kind of <laughs> sending a message <laughs> with that. I think it made him a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it made him some money. They put I him mean, back he, on the map. There you know? haven't been any award. Like, he was up for a bunch of VMAs that he didn't win. It's just, like, kind of crazy considering, considering how popular how the song was. was. Maybe right. it was the rated R video. Yeah. Was that, you know. <laughs> right. Which my mom kind of loves. turned off by that. <laughs> my, mom, my mom loved the rated R video. Okay, so what are your final thoughts from this year's Grammys? What are your takeaways? And maybe what is one thing you'd love to see next year? Hmm. Ooh, final thoughts, something for next year. By the way, I'm glad my buddy Zed got the best dance recording for song. Mm -hmm. I was hoping he would get nominated for album, but then again, the winners were completely deserving. <laughs> uh, what I took away from this, Mac, it's Macklemore's year. And I think Macklemore's yeah. gonna be one of these artists that goes on and on and on. Uh, Lord, wait and see, I don't know, but I think uh, EDM's here to stay. That's gonna blow up even more. But uh, Macklemore, Daft Punk, the the ex the escalation of EDM in in the Grammys. Mm. I agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I totally Just completely with you one hundred percent. And that that's like sort of a new genre for me too. But I've just been so exposed to it this past year that I'm like, why am I so behind on EDM? And now it's everywhere. So I feel like, first of all, we didn't even talk about Pink, by the way. Oh my Her god, amazing it's performance. Flawless. Like, I just love the Grammys for those big performances. Yeah. And then we had sort of like a scaled down thing with Beyonce and Laura doing just like one spotlight and mm -hmm. their, their little spiel. But um, I'm just hoping for, of course, bigger diva performances. <laughs> I want the um, whole lineup next more year. More fog machines. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of fog <laughs> machines. I don't know lights. how you could get more. <laughs> <laughs> I could find a way. Yeah. <laughs> I could find a way. There's never enough fog, Penny. Install yeah. it in each married couple, like right. in between them, fog coming out. <laughs> you like can't see anyone sure. getting married. It's fine. <laughs> What's your <laughs> takeaway? Um, my takeaway is, I think Lord. I think Lord. They, I think it was the music industry saying, "We appreciate." you taking a chance and doing something different mm -hmm. and we want to reward more people that are going to do that that's what i thought that was all about right it's deep. Yeah. i think they started strong with that beyonce performance i think a lot of us thought it couldn't have even gotten better than that but it ended on a nice yeah, note too good. we had the marriages and then the, the robot embrace at the end was really sweet <laughs> that's what it's all about yes <laughs> and left us all speechless like yeah. the robots <laughs> at least me what, is, what does katie have to do to get a grammy what does she have to do <sighs> That is the question. Uh, like, what is she? Is she wasn't this her someone? first year nominated? Or maybe is not. It, is it? I think it was. Was it? Oh, shocker. How yeah. do you, wait, here's some controversy we should talk about. The, um, <laughs> Katie and, Brave uh, and Roar, Sarah Roar and Brave being up against each other, right? Up against yeah, each other? Yeah, I was, um, actually, because Sarah Bareilles, when she performed with Carol King, she, they then oh, that, went oh, into, that was a performance um, um, you know, presenting that award. And I was just thinking about how awkward it would have been if Katy Perry won and uh. had to come up and like interact with Sarah Bareilles. But I think that um, that whole thing was they each got their moment crazy. tonight. Right. I thought it was right. really special and just showed their different styles. The yeah. performance with Carol King, I think I forgot about it completely, but like I loved it. It was great. Incredible. It was great. Lots yeah. of great performances yeah. tonight. All right, so finally, we'd like to thank our partner, Dial, as well as everyone at home who watched and contributed throughout the evening. From all of us here at Pop Sugar, I hope you had a wonderful night. Bye. Later. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us.